Questions from the interwebs. Evo versus non-Evo. We're gonna break it down today with some graphs on the computer from the dyno of the two engine comparisons. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. In last week's Q&A, we said some wicked questions from the interwebs. So thanks to everyone from Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and of course our YouTube community. Now Josh Dawn was asking about the Rotax Evo versus non-Evo, and also too from Fred, he was asking about the Evo non-Evo in the restricted category, which we race here in uh, Australia, and it's pretty popular here in Southeast Queens Queensland actually. So we're gonna show you how the two engines compare against each other on the dyno right here at the House of Power. So let's get to it. First up, we've got the Senior Max. So as you can see here on the screen, uh, this is a, the, um, I've just called it Des Rotax. This is our demo engine brought to you by our friends at International Karting. And we ran this one in on the 8th of August, so only a couple of weeks ago. And it went 33.42 peak horsepower at 11,000 RPM. So that's the Senior Max non-Evo. Now, right below it is a non-Evo Rotax engine. And you can see here its peak horsepower was just a little bit later and it was around the 31.6. You can't see it there because this is a screen grab that we've brought across for the demonstration with the two graphs overlaid. Now this point here is the peak power of the non-Evo but you can sort of see this whole mid-range section is the non-Evo versus the Evo and the Evo really makes some great mid-range power comparatively. Now that is to do with the new exhaust system, the new Rotax cylinders that they've got developed, and also the, with the electronic power valve. This particular engine was, in non-Evo spec, was just freshly run in, and it had a brand new power valve bellows and carburetor, so everything was just perfect for the testing. Now when you're in your cart, and your engine has a varying degree of oh, sort of use, uh, those non-Evo engines will really suffer in the bottom end power with the power valve blade opening. I don't have a graph, unfortunately, with um, a Rotax engine with the power valve not operating perfectly. So what you would really see with an engine where the power valve wasn't working like it should is here in the um, seb below 7,500 range. Now, you can see here they're both making about 15 newton meters of torque at 6,500 RPM and then it's a steady incline from there. Now, if the power valve wasn't working, these torque lines would be closer to 12 Newton meters. So both the Evo and the non-Evo engine are actually working pretty closely here in the bottom end RPM. But that, that like I said before, is mostly because it was a brand new, fully rebuilt non-Evo engine and the power valve was working perfectly, which is not as common as you would think. It really comes down to your jetting, throttle position, gear ratio, and all those other variables. Whereas with the Evo engine, you can expect this awesome bottom end power. You can really see that skinny blue line there, especially if I blow it right up. There you go. The skinny blue line is the torque curve of the Evo. Now, it did taper off here compared to the Evo on this particular run, but it's within sort of almost 0.1 of a Newton meter maybe 0.3 here at the widest part, okay? So it's not excessive, but then after the power valves are open, which is at 7.5 onwards, you can really see that the um, mid-range and the top end power is really something else. And that's all to do with these um, new Evo cylinders. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an understanding of the different power ratings of the Evo versus the non-Evo Senior Max racing engines. So now we've got on the screen a Senior Max restricted non-Evo and a Senior Max restricted Evo engine comparison. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the bottom end performance of the Evo versus the non-Evo in the tag restricted class. If we go over to the sub 7,500 RPM zone, and I'll just blow that up a little bit so you can see it on the computer, you can really see here the bottom end performance. Now the two blue lines, the Evo is the skinny blue line and the non-Evo is the thick blue line, and that's the torque curve. And you can see here at 
the Evo is making 15 newton meters, and then by 7,000 RPM, it is nearly at 17 newton meters of torque, whereas the non-Evo engine is all the way down here at about 14 and a half newton meters. So it's a fair bit of difference in your torque. And then as we go up through the mid-range and into the top end, these new Rotax Evo cylinders are really substantially better than the old uh, non-Evo counterpart. The divergence here at, at the peak power is about two horsepower and about 1.3 newton meters. So even though the Rotax Evo engine carries extra five kilos, it's still making great power, especially as you get further up into the top end. They jet easier, the pipes don't crack, the power valves work perfectly. So if you haven't updated, I recommend doing so, especially if you're over the class weight limit. We've had plenty of guys here locally that were sort of on the cusp of you know, five, six kilos over the class weight. So instead of trying to lose weight, because it's a lot harder than just um, grabbing an engine that's five kilos in the uh, more for your class weight, so the Rotax Evo versus the X30, and you've got the extra bottom end from the engine's performance, and you're more closer to the minimum weight category, so it's a sort of a double win for the bigger guys. So especially if you're in tag restricted heavy, look at getting yourself a Rotax Evo engine so you can really start winning races and dominating. Okay, so there you have it. That is the Rotax Max Evo versus non-Evo, both restricted and in open category. And that's a dyno comparison. Now, all engines are different. Yes, I understand that. And they're all at varying degrees of use. I've tried to compare new engines that I've done in the last month in, in both the graphs there. So that it gives a, a bit more of a fair comparison between all the engines. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Please, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe, turn on those pesky notifications, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or go to our website, www.powerrepublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt, or a Rotax Max Senior Race Engine. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.